Russia has added over 5,000 deaths over the last few days in the reconciliation exercise as far as COVID is concerned. Officials say that the state regularly adds backlogs to its COVID numbers in order to ensure that the data is authentic and the numbers are not suppressed. 45-year-old Sureka Rokre says that her husband, Rao Saheb Rokre, died due to COVID. She says a key report of the hospital showed a high CT score and indicated COVID, but the hospital did not share her husband's COVID test report. The Ahmadnagar Civil Hospital admission slip says he was admitted for suspected COVID, but the death certificate has no mention of it. The government says such cases are being added to the list after scrutiny and it's checking and correcting its list of COVID deaths. In one week, the death tally in India's worst hit state has increased by 3,500 and 23,000 backlog deaths were added in two months. Sayang Kali, Ami, Teen Hazar Pashe, He Mutu Akre, J. Reconciliation Kelly, Adjust Kelly, Manje, Hikai Kudi Lapole de Naye, Ami Atenta Paradashak and Pramani Pane Yak Bapit Kam Kuratao, Sadan Pane Adis Hazar Nuin cases, Ani Sadati Hazar Mutucha cases, the Duni Reconciliation Karnachi Karaway, Karnatali. Districts have been told to ensure that the need to reconcile data does not arise in the future and that they follow up with private hospitals daily and upload data daily. For those who were left out of the lists, the worry is that if the government announces compensation, they may not even be eligible for it. In three weeks, the centre has to give its compensation plan for COVID deaths to the Supreme Court. The addition of backlog deaths has pushed up India's weekly case fatality rate, which is used to define the severity of the pandemic and 23,000 backlog cases being added from one state alone in two months will push up India's COVID death tally significantly. In Mumbai, with camera person Pavinji Rohit, Saurabh Gupta, NDTV.